Listen up because I'm about to explain the entire hacking process from reconnaissance to covering your tracks. Most hacking tutorials spend hours teaching you tools without explaining the actual methodology. And that's why people stay stuck running automated scans without understanding what they're actually doing. But if you're watching Cyberflow, you're about to understand the complete picture in just a few minutes. And before we get started, if you want to actually learn the stuff properly with real labs and step-by-step -step courses, join our private community. First link in the description, more on that later. Hacking isn't some magical process. It's a systematic five-phase methodology that every single successful breach follows, whether it's a nation-state APT group or a bug bounty hunter finding a critical vulnerability. The five phases are reconnaissance, scanning and enumeration, gaining access, post-exploitation, and covering tracks. And if you understand these phases, you understand literally everything about how hacking works. Phase one is reconnaissance, and this is where 99% of amateur hackers completely fail because they skip this step and jump straight to running exploits. Reconnaissance is about gathering information about your target without them even knowing you exist, and it comes in two flavors, passive and active. Passive reconnaissance is when you're collecting publicly available information without ever touching the target system. We're talking about Google dorking, checking social media profiles, finding employee information on LinkedIn, checking the Wayback Machine for old versions of websites, and basically becoming a digital detective. The goal is to know more about the target than the people who actually run it, and this phase is completely legal because you're not interacting with their systems at all. Active reconnaissance is where things get spicy because now you're directly interacting with the target system to gather information. This includes running Nmap scans to find open ports and services, using tools like Nikto to scan web servers, checking for vulnerable versions of software, and basically mapping out the attack surface. The risk here is you can get detected because you're touching their systems, but the reward is you get way more accurate and detailed information. Professional penetration testers spend like 70% of their time in the reconnaissance phase because the more you know about a target, the easier everything else becomes. And this is what separates script kiddies from actual hackers. Phase two is scanning and enumeration, which is basically taking all that reconnaissance data and turning it into a detailed map of vulnerabilities you can exploit. You're using tools like Nmap for port scanning, Burp Suite for web application enumeration, vulnerability scanners to identify known CVEs, and basically building a complete picture of the target security posture. The difference between scanning and enumeration is scanning tells you what's there and enumeration tells you what you can do with it. For example, scanning might tell you port 445 is open, but enumeration tells you it's running SMB version whatever with specific misconfigurations that make it exploitable. This phase is where you're building your attack plan and deciding which vulnerabilities are worth exploiting based on impact and ease of exploitation. Phase three is gaining access. And this is what everyone thinks hacking is, but it's actually just one phase out of five. Once you've identified vulnerabilities during enumeration, you exploit them to gain initial access to the system. This could be exploiting a known CVE using Metasploit, running a SQL injection attack with SQL map, exploiting a file upload vulnerability, social engineering someone into clicking a malicious link, or literally any technique that gets you a foothold inside the target network. The key thing to understand is gaining access doesn't mean you own the system, it just means you have a toe in the door. And now the real work begins because most initial access is with low privilege accounts that can't do anything interesting yet. Phase four is post-exploitation, and this is where amateur hackers get caught and professional penetration testers prove their value. After gaining initial access, you need to escalate privileges to get admin or root access, maintain persistence so you can come back even if your initial entry point gets patched, move laterally through the network to reach more valuable targets, gather credentials and sensitive data, and basically turn that initial foothold into complete control of the environment. This phase is what determines whether you found a low severity bug worth $200 or a critical vulnerability worth $12,000 because it's all about demonstrating impact. Phase five is covering tracks, and this is what keeps you from getting caught, or in the case of ethical hacking, this is what you document to show the client exactly what an attacker would do to hide their presence. You're clearing logs, deleting uploaded files, removing backdoors, hiding malware using rootkits, modifying timestamps on files, and basically erasing any evidence that you are ever there. In real-world attacks, this phase determines whether the breach gets detected in hours or goes unnoticed for months. And in penetration testing, this phase shows clients how sophisticated attackers operate so they can improve their detection capabilities. If you like the way I break this stuff down and you actually want to learn hacking the right way, then check out Cyberflow's Academy, my private community. 
Inside, you get full step-by-step -step courses on ethical hacking, bug bounty, web hacking, OSINT, Python, C++, and reverse engineering, plus a private Discord where you can ask me anything and learn alongside people already getting insane payouts. You also get all my cyber docs, the cheat sheets, workflows, recon templates, OSINT checklists, exploit notes, and practical challenge-based labs that actually force you to apply the skills plus the $1,000 playbook that shows you how to make your first grand from hacking. And we include all my tools and setups, so your machine is ready from day one. If you want all that, courses, labs, playbooks, everything, it's in the first link in the description. See you inside.